Peace be with you. I'm Chaplain Sean Denzer, Director of Worship for the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Chaos everywhere. You know all the ways 2020 has been a year of chaos. Here in the United States, we've experienced a tumultuous presidential election campaign cycle. Soon the end of the year chaos will hit us with duties, deadlines, regrets. And we're about to be thrust deep into the pre-Christmas chaos of ads, peer pressure, shopping, family gatherings, empty seats at the table. Who can bring calm to this chaos? The true calm isn't that we'd all just get through or even get along. The true calm is the peace of Jesus Christ, the peace that comes from his promises, the peace that comes from his forgiving blood, the peace that comes from a confident hope in the resurrection to eternal life for all who trust in him. Christmas and the end of the year will be here before we know it, but don't ride the wave of chaos to get there. Join the Christian church for Advent and find the calming peace of Christ. The prophet Isaiah wrote, thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel. In returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. He said this to the stubborn, unwilling people of Judah, and we can be just as stubborn about our busyness too. But Advent is the church's way of taking this word of God to heart. Returning, that means repentance of all of our stubborn, chaotic clutter, especially of our shaky faith that might have doubted God when he was needed most. And instead, rest. Resting in Christ's promises, which are bigger than disease and poverty and death and politics and feuds and all the rest of the chaos. Wait for the Lord, dear friends. The scriptures of Advent bring us back to the right kind of waiting on the Lord, in expectation and in endurance, not anxiety. Many of our churches offer additional Advent midweek services, often on Wednesday nights. I have to say, there's something incredibly calming about being in a beautiful church, most of which look their best in the dark of evening. I'd encourage you, if you're able, to attend your local LCMS congregation's Advent service, if they have one. If they don't, or even if they do, you can still return and rest for Advent in your home and with your family also. Check out lcms.org advent for more information. Pastors and musicians, you'll find suggestions for midweek services from LCMS worship, this year focusing on the teaching of holy baptism and what it indicates about being Christ's disciples for life. For families in the home, you'll find suggestions for family table grace and a link to our Making Disciples for Life Internet Resource Center, where you can discover a host of Advent devotional materials. You'll also find a link there to Concordia Publishing House's many resources for church workers, congregations, and homes. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.